Hi YouTube fans, I'm Hans Falo and this is the first in a series of how-to videos for my N-Scale Railroad. Last Christmas I decided that I wanted to try a 3D printer. Not only because it's neat to have, but it's also another way that I can print many of the things on my N-Scale Railway. And at that time, I went through a selection process. I needed something that fit my budget, was not complicated to run, and was easy to build. Now, more expensive printers than the Creality Ender 3, which I have, come mostly assembled. There are other ones that have cameras built into them. And more sophisticated software that control the printer. Those are generally double the price of this printer. As I've mentioned in my intro, I plan on doing a series of videos letting you know how I'm doing 3D printing for my N-Scale Railroad. There have been a lot of videos on this, and so mine obviously won't be the most definitive. However, I hope you enjoy it. So, let's have some fun. This is my printer, the Creality Ender 3. And there are a number of components here that may not seem obvious to someone who doesn't have one of these. First off, I like to have a UPS. That's this device here. Since prints take quite some time, depending on the size and the fill ratio of that print, which I'll explain later, a print could take upwards of 10 hours. Here, in this video, I'm printing a grain silo. This is going to take approximately 10 and a half to 11 hours to complete. It's part way through the print already. But if there were to be a power interruption, this printer, being at the price point that it is, does not have a resume to it, which means that it knows where it left off. This printer does not. Therefore, I have to ensure that I have proper power. Now, while the UPS is not 100% flawless, it will help against brownouts, and with this printer, up to 23 minutes of sustained runtime when there is no AC power. And you can imagine, if you were partway through a 10 to 12 hour print, that that would be quite devastating, not only in the materials that you would lose, but in the time that you lose redrawing or reprinting your product. So, this device here is a webcam. And I use that webcam to monitor my printer when I'm in another part of my house or if I'm away from the house. This is a good idea because if the print decides to hairball as we call it, in other words it loses track of where the printing is and then just starts spewing out hot plastic, which it can do due to all number of reasons, you would want to stop that print. Now what you don't see here is on the back of my UPS, I actually have a device that's similar to this. This device here is a smart plug. That smart plug can be hooked up to my phone or to my iPad. That smart plug allows me to turn power on and off. I use a high intensity light, which is up this way and I'm not going to show you that because it's quite bright. I use that to illuminate my printout. So on the back of my UPS is another one of those that actually controls the printer. And while it doesn't do it doesn't allow the printer to start and stop at a specific position, it will save myself on some materials. Now the spool is only $25 for a one kilogram spool 
but still, it's a waste. And so if I see that my printer is turning into a hairball or something's happened to the printout, I use a hotbed, which in this particular case, perhaps something's happened to the hotbed and it cools down for any number of reasons while the print is still in action. It could literally tear that print off right off the hotbed if it's cooled down enough. Here are just some of the things that I've printed. I've printed some rail cars, tunnel portals, bridges, bridge piers, stations, ballast spreading boxes, and all kinds of buildings. And for some of the backgrounds, I have some of these fascias that I've printed for that. There are even things here that I've printed to help build bridges, such as these trestles. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and found this information interesting. I'll be covering more about 3D printing in upcoming series. So that's all for now. And if you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe, share, and like. Happy modeling.